That's it. For Sam Roth, it's a day that couldn't come soon enough. Arriving in California with his 11-month-old daughter's car seat, waiting to be reunited with his family after a month apart. Just anxious at the moment. Looking forward to seeing them. His wife, Daisy, and daughters, Abigail and Adeline, were released from Travis Air Force Base after spending two weeks in quarantine. Shuttled by bus to San Francisco Airport. Bus stop 21. You know where that is? Sam's wait getting a little longer. Unclear where the family got dropped off. Finally, the moment they had all been waiting for. Found you. Reunited as a family of four at last. So now you're back. How does it feel? It feels good to be together as a family. Just glad to see you. Yeah. Just glad to be it's back together excited. with the family. Their ordeal began on January 23rd, two days after Daisy and the girls arrived in the Chinese city of Wuhan to spend time with her family. I woke up and I received a message from my phone. It's like a, the whole city got to lock down. I was like, what? It's pajama time. They spent days cooped up in Daisy's parents' home, under lockdown in a city, afraid to leave the apartment. Five-year-old Abigail keeping her baby sister entertained, putting on a brave face despite the fear. Scary. What was scary about it? That I had to stay in. The State Department began evacuating Americans out of Wuhan, but because Daisy isn't a U.S. citizen, the family wasn't sure she'd be able to leave. Yeah, I think only like when we passed the custom, then I know, okay, we're good. Yay! Grateful to be back on American soil, happy that the quarantine is now behind them, but mindful of loved ones left behind in Wuhan. It doesn't really feel like it's over, and. And as long as Wuhan is still under lockdown and her family's there, um, this is a milestone getting our family back together, but it's definitely not the end of the road for the people that we love.